hello hello and welcome to vlogtober um i promised a while back that i was gonna do like a makeup get ready with me kind of a thing so today is saturday uh, my brother is actually coming over he now lives in iowa i know last time we spoke he lived in kentucky he just recently moved i think i mentioned it on a plan with me at one point but I figured I would get ready. Um, it's super late in the day because I've been doing housework like literally all day and I just took a shower, hence the uh, wet hair. So I figured I had a little bit of time. It's like five o'clock right now. He's coming over around seven and then we're gonna go grab some dinner together. So I will vlog a little bit of him when I see him, but I figured I would just show you what I'm using for my makeup and just kind of chat, I guess, I don't know. And also the tripod leg is like right in front of the drawer I need to get into. So I have a whole hodgepodge of stuff right here. I hope I grabbed all the stuff I needed because I'm like, I don't know. Um, all right, so I got all my brushes. I even grabbed, these are all of my backup brushes or brushes I no longer use, but uh, can't part with because, you know, I spent money on these at some point in my life. So um, I actually have a couple new products that I want to try out that I recently hauled in uh, from that like Ulta haul in the car. No, did I? Yeah, I hauled it in the car. So yeah, I use my uh, number seven beautifully matte makeup base because I have super oily skin. And we're gonna put this on here. And I get this at Target. I just put a little tiny bit on, so I just look kind of funny right now, but that's okay. And then we spread it around the face. And I don't have just like oily zones. Like my whole entire face is just an oil slick. So I just, I do what I can, you guys. I do what I can. Come here, brushes. Okay. Now. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. I am in the shade 25. I actually um, just got a message, or actually I saw my friend Kayla on Facebook. She works at Sephora and she said that she had some email coupons to share for their um, you know, annual 20% off sale. So she's like, let me know if you want one. And I commented, I'm like, yes, please, me. <laughs> so I think I'm actually, once once the um, coupon comes, which I think it's like on the 14th or something, um, I'm going to set up a time to go and actually see her because I want to, I you know, Kayla and I have been friends for a really long time and I buy stuff at Sephora once in a while. I'm kind of an online shopper because, you know, people and stuff, but I'm like, I should just like do this in person and like talk to her about what I'm looking for versus me like just thinking I know what I'm talking about you know I know what works for my skin the things I have used but you know she might have some good suggestions um, and I want to get more into like skincare I've been like totally slacking on the skincare lately like really really slacking like in a really bad way so hmm. Um, this is my primer that I use for my eyelids, again, oily. Uh, NARS, what is this called? NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Um, this stuff works wonders, just wonders. Um, I've used other stuff in the past. I think I've used like a Benefit product and, oh gosh, I think there's been like a Too Faced product that I've used for my eyeshadow, or like eyeshadow base. And nothing has ever worked until I found this guy. So I really, really enjoy it. And I think it's pretty amazing. I can wear it all day and it doesn't crease on me. It actually, let me be clear. It does crease at some point in the day, but it's like super, super late in the day, if and when it does. So let's see, I'll take my painterly paint pot from MAC and put it on my eyeballs because I got veiny eyeballs. And I don't like to um, use my fingers too much because of the oils. Not my thing, you know? I don't need oil on oil on oil on oil because, ew. And now I need a blending brush. Hmm. Mm, it's almost too fluffy of a blending brush. Oh, do you guys see the oil? Doyle, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You coming up? Up, up, up. He doesn't. He doesn't know it. Oh, he's right here, but you can't see him. He's too. He's too short. Hi, Doyle. I can see you, but nobody else can. 
I know, so sad. Um, okay, I'm gonna take this brush. Oh, it's like a dual brush. Where did I get this one? Crease Shadow from Crown Brush. I don't think I actually purchased this. I'm pretty sure this came as like a like a gift set with something else because I would have never bought a brush that has two ends to it because I like to store my brushes like this, upright. So I would much prefer, and I know it's probably not the most cost effective, but I would much prefer to buy one of this brush and one of that brush and just call it good because I'm just going to ruin one or both sides of them eventually. <laughs> All right, I think let's blend it in. And now I can't put it in my little cup. I gotta leave it back down here. It actually kind of sucks, but whatever. What's next? It feels weird that I'm like talking through it. I just kind of like do it and I'm done and there you go. Um, All right, maybe I'll do my eyeballs first and then I'll finish up my face makeup. All right, so now that I got my base on, I'm gonna go in with this Rimmel London Scandal Eyes. Ta-da-da. Um, let's see, this is called Rich Russet. It's just like a cream, like a doe foot applicator. It's just like a cream um, eyeshadow, and it's got like a little bit of shimmer to it. It's not glitter, it's just a little bit of shimmer, which I like a little bit of shimmer, even though I'm like almost 37. Don't judge me, but I like it. I think it like gives a little bit of a pop to the eye and makes it look a little bit more interesting than just matte shadows, which I'm gonna actually put on some matte shadows in a second, but I don't know, I just, I don't know, I like it. It's not too youthful looking, I think. And I don't think I'm trying to go too far out of my um, appropriate age range, I guess, but I like the way it looks. And I just blend it out with a regular eyeshadow brush, whatever this is called. Eh. I don't know what it's called, but it's just an eyeshadow brush. It's not a blending brush. I'm just trying to like even out the color because you like kind of goop it on with this thing. And I don't even know if they carry this stuff anymore. This is like really old. I should probably like get a new one, but I haven't. Then I go on with my Sonia Kashuk palette, which is uh, called Ion Neutral 02. I got this at the Target. And um, yeah, then I kind of just start blending stuff. So I'm gonna take this clean, fluffy brush, and really, all I'm doing is blending stuff. So I'm just gonna take like, I don't know, like the, the lighter colors, and put them like more towards like the beginning of the eyeball, like up here too, because that's what the beauty gurus on the internet say to do. So I'll put a little bit in the corner, and then like some up here. You know, light, lighten and brighten in some areas and then you want to darken in others because, you know, that's what they tell you to do. So that's what you're supposed to do. All right, and then I'm going to take um, like this color. It's kind of like more of a medium brown. And then kind of put it on the last like half of the eyeball. I don't know. Just kind of make like a little V almost, but like really sloppy V. I don't know. I'm kind of sloppy with my eye makeup because I never want it to be like too cut and precise because it's just like not who I am as a person. So I just want it to look, I want my makeup to always look like me, but like a better version of me. I don't ever want my makeup to look not like myself, I guess. I don't know. And no shade to the people that really want to like transform themselves with makeup because I agree, you should do whatever you want to do. But it's just, it's just my own personal style. Okay, so I just took like, not the darkest shade, but I took like this brown, the one above the black. P.S. The black and then this gray are like really horrible in this palette. I'm just letting you know. The, um, all the other colors are fantastic. But I just took that darkest brown and then just put it in the last kind of quarter of the eyeball and it's just kind of like working it in and not moving it up any. And then like kind of working it into like the last little portion of the crease. All right, looks pretty even. So we're just gonna go with it. All right, all the stuff I've used is like over in this corner here. And then I'm gonna take this brush again because it's, it's not clean, but it's got a lighter color on it. 
which I've wiped all of it off anyway, and I'm just gonna blend out all the edges. Because sometimes I look at myself later in the night or like later in the day and I'm like, whoa, I did not blend that out properly. So if I'm gonna take the time to actually wear eyeshadow and do something fun with the makeup, I better like do it right. Okay, I think, eh, we're all blended. And if you're like a beauty guru and you're watching this, like I apologize on behalf of your community. I'm not claiming to be a beauty guru, okay? I promise you that. I'm not as beautiful as the beautiful people on the internets. Um, okay, next item is, I'm gonna put on eyeliner, which I haven't done in like maybe a year. Uh, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Bourbon. And yeah, I don't do a wing liner. I just kind of like lightly line and then I'm done because it's too overwhelming for me. <laughs> so I just kind of like, I don't know, just draw a little bit. I don't know. And I kind of like smudge it too because I don't feel like it needs to be perfect. And I kind of mess it up after I'm done with this anyways, especially when it's like a like a cranny kind of a pencil. Cranny? Like a crayon? Cran? Crayon? I don't know how to say that either. I do have some liquid eyeliners that I don't ever use because I just don't know how to use them properly. So I'm gonna take a little teeny, teeny, tiny brush and then I'm just gonna like smudge out what I just did so it doesn't look super patchy because it does right now. So if I just like smooth it out, it looks like I meant to do what I just did. This is like low bar lifestyle makeup situation. Just, you just make it work. Like Tim Gunn says, make it work. All right, I think yeah, I think I got it right. Okay, cool. Now we're going back to the face. Um, I've been testing this out lately. So I got these when I was at Ulta recently. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I am in the color Light to Vanilla. I've used this for many years and I love it. However, I have been using this. This is the Tarte Shape Tape and I am in the color Fair Beige. And to be honest, Kind of loving this like kind of just digging it um so yeah but this applicator like um like i get it but it's a lot like it's very very thick so i don't i don't know i don't know so i don't know just highlighting things and also i'm like getting like all these like little spots on me on my face, which is why I need to go to Sephora and see Kayla because like I said, I need to get like more into the skincare situation, which I haven't been for a long time. So I need to do that. Cause like even the texture of my skin is like changing. I don't like it. I don't like it. I want it to stay the same and it's not going to. But yeah, I really like this stuff. And this really goes a long, like a little goes a long way with this thing, but I'm still not used to it. I've only been using it for a couple of days. So, but I really like it. And the coverage is good and it doesn't like, I don't know, cause I have really oily skin. Like it kinda, concealers can some kinda like, sometimes kinda like crackle uh, throughout the day and get some separation, like after you've been wearing it for a little bit. So yeah, this vlog is just like kinda turning into a makeup chitty chat, huh? Uh, let's see here, all right. I really need some like <sighs> concealer. Let's let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oop. All right. I have this. This is actually a uh, under eye thing. I think yeah, an under eye concealer, but it's like really really wet, so I don't like it for this. But it's the Lancome Effacerness Waterproof. I don't know. What color am I? Claire two. All right. So I'm gonna just. Take a little bit out and then I'm gonna use it in some spots that are kind of driving me nuts recently. We'll see if they conceal anything. We'll see. But I actually really like this as a concealer, as like a 
more of a wet concealer versus like a creamed one. Well, that doesn't make any sense. But like a, like a pot, like a, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't do beauty, you guys. Like I'm just kinda eh, with stuff. And my nose, like around the edges, is getting like veiny. I'm like getting freaking old, you guys. Anyways, okay. So that is done. I'm just gonna like pat it again. Make sure I got all the places. And then, next thing, um, I take my Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Pressed Powder. I am in the color 011 Creamy Natural. And, oh, I don't need that. Just take a big old fluffy brush and I put this all over the place because this is really, really good for oily skin. I used to actually use a Lancome product that didn't even work as well. And uh, then I discovered this on the Booty Gurus on YouTube and then I haven't gone back. So I really like this stuff and it's like super, super cheap. All right, so that's done. And then I take a little bit of, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Exposed. And I've hit pan a while ago, but you know, give a little bit of dimension to the face cause I don't use, I don't use a bronzer cause I don't, hair enough to use a bronzer but I am gonna use a highlighter today um, so we'll see how that goes I might look a little bit cray cray but we'll we'll see all right so there's that um, okay so here's that Becca highlighter that I got and this is in the color champagne pop and I'm pretty sure this was like a collaboration with Jack and Jacqueline Hill um, what do I need? I need like a brush that works. I don't really have like a fan brush because I did at one point and then I like was like I'm never gonna use this. So this is kind of a fluffier brush that's not as dense. So I'm gonna use this, but I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go like this. <laughs> Just gonna dab a little bit. Ugh. I'm like afraid. Ooh, fancy. Okay, I can get into this. All right, this is like the weirdest way to do makeup. <laughs> this brush like this. All right, now I have the other side of the brush right here. So I'm gonna just go like that to make sure there's no like jagged line. All right, yeah, I can see it. All right, I'm gonna turn, I'm dealing with only natural light right now. I'm gonna turn this light on. It's gonna get really yellow, but I just wanna see if I can like see it because I don't have like, oh yeah, you guys can see it, right? Can you see that? Ha ha ha. You can't see it on this side because the natural light's right there, but I think you guys can see the, the glow. Like Emily's glowing. Never. I'm not even gonna turn the light on because it just gets like, I look like an Oompa Loompa. Um, okay, and now where are we going? All right, so I've done that. I don't do anything to my eyebrows because they're like kind of dark already. So I just kind of take a little spoolie brush and uh, comb them out so they're not so crazy looking. If I get excited, sometimes I will like fill them in, but not today, guys, not today. And next is the, the lashes. I think I have like one pair left of fake lashes and the last time I wore fake lashes was to my what, what cousin's wedding. Like I lived in Fargo at the time, but I just moved there. So what, three, four years ago? <laughs> last time I wore fake lashes. <laughs> I don't mind wearing them. I just, I don't know. It's just like not my, not my deal on the daily, you know? And I don't go to that many like special events that I should wear them. A lot of the events that I go to, like if you guys watch my plan with me videos, um, are pretty casual, like jeans and a t-shirt kind of casual. It's very rare that I go to like a dress up kind of event. All right. <laughs> okay, lashes are done. I use drugstore mascara always because I've tried a lot of the high-end ones. I don't think it's any different to be completely honest, but this is the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. 
in black in waterproof so that's what i use and then i'm going to use my l'oreal paris infallible makeup extender setting spray i'm just like i don't really know what's in here but it's some sort of makeup extender ah, refreshing <coughs> oh my gosh but yeah that's whoa that's what i do for the makeups and let me i'll give you a better review of my face in a second here let me whoa move the tripod and uh zoom in on my eyeballs maybe oh gosh this is like too close for comfort this is why i can never be like a beauty guru but here's my attempt at eye makeup it's really really sloppy but i really don't care i don't know what that looked like so i hope it focused I don't know, just kind of basic. Anyway, okay, um, I'm gonna back up because it's like too close. Oh, you guys can kind of see the highlight on, on this side now too, okay. This is way too close for comfort, so I am going to turn the camera off for right now, and then um, I will check in when my brother comes over and we'll uh, take you to dinner. So, I'm not doing anything interesting at all today because I just got a text message from my brother and apparently, it's been really rainy here, but he was obviously pretty stupid with his phone and somehow it got rained on. I don't know if he left it outside or like what the heck he did with it. But anyway, um, he's been kind of like incommunicado for the day, which doesn't really make any difference because we're supposed to have dinner at 7 o'clock. It is currently 7.41 and he was supposed to be here at 7 o'clock. And then he tells me, oh, I had pizza a couple of hours ago, so I'm not hungry. Let's just do a rain check for next time. I'm like, okay. So now I'm all like, I guess I'm not gussied up. You know what I could do? I'm currently watching Pretty Little Liars and the dog is judging over there. You know what I could do since I'm like dressed? Is I could go to Target because Target has some of the best shopping late at night because nobody's there. Especially on a Saturday night at like, by the time I get there, put my shoes on and all that, it'll be like almost eight o'clock. So maybe I'll go and do that. I don't know what I need. I actually do, hold on. I do need a couple of groceries. Um, I'm at the computer now. I don't know why I came to sit at the computer. I came to do something over here. My brain is like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. Sorry, I don't really know. But um, you can't really see my highlighter that much. But I have like this spot, it's kind of raised. It's not like, I don't know, it's not like a pimple or anything. But in like really bad lighting, which is like my guest bath lighting. Well, it's not a guest bath, it's just like a half bath downstairs. I went to use the bathroom down here and I was like, oh my God, that looks horrible because there's a little bit of highlighter on there. I shouldn't have done it, you guys. I shouldn't have done it because it like shows off the texture really bad. So, oopsie, you live and learn. You guys can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. Yeah, that's like this like little, it's like a little bump. And it's, it's, it's not like a pimple because it doesn't, Usually if I'm getting a pimple, like it's like, I feel a lot of pressure and stuff. So I don't know what the heck it is, but again, I need to work on the freaking skincare because my skin is like having issues because I'm getting old. Oh gosh, it's probably my brother again. I'm at my computer, so my computer should ding in a second anyways. Let's see. Yep, he says, I'll call Jim next week to talk to him about Thanksgiving. Jim's my uncle. He wants to go to my uncle's house in Minnesota for Thanksgiving and was wondering if I wanted to go too. And I'm like, I don't really care either way. So whatever. <laughs> and uh, Jim is my dad's brother. So he's on my dad's side of the family. And I think the vlog has only met, well, hmm. My grandma that was here when I moved into the house originally. So what was that in July? Um, you guys had seen her with Doyle on that couch situation over there. Uh, that was my mom's mom. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna put the laptop away and um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to Target because Target I think is open till like nine or 10 and uh, just get some stuff. I don't know, maybe I'll do a Target haul afterwards because who knows what kind of treasures I'm gonna find. But I think I need like random things like milk and 
bread and stuff and stuff. Can you guys see him? There he is. There he is. On my Instagram today, I've been posting a lot. And Doyle has been just like loving this situation because this sofa is leaving tomorrow. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna run to Target and do my thing over there and then I will just check in later because now I'm hungry going to Target, which is probably not the best idea, but oh well, you gotta do it. You gotta do it once in a while. <laughs> All right, so I am back from Target. I figured I'd do a little bit of a haul before I put all my stuff away. So I got some food, random things, and then I also got random things that aren't food. So I decided to try these. I've heard really good things about this Way Better brand, and I've never seen the nacho cheese ones. Maybe I've just never been looking. But my mom really likes these, and I think she gets the sweet potato ones, which I've had, which are good but I really wasn't in the mood for sweet potato because I have like several sweet potatoes, like actual sweet potatoes at my house right now. So I wanna test those out. Lean Cuisines, these are like my favorite thing. I only get the glazed chicken and I eat these for lunch all the time. Um, also, I eat for lunch sometimes. These, uh, wine, I like the wine infused salami ones. Why is this not focusing? There it goes. From um, Hillshire Farms, but it's Hillshire Snacking. They're so good. Actually, I was talking to somebody the other day about um, hot dogs. I mean, I know that these are technically sausages, but I'm like obsessed with cheese hot dogs and I don't get them often because they're like not the best for you. I saw them and I was like, you know what? They're turkey and there's cheddar inside. Like, let's do this thing. Um, I got more yogurts. Um, I have one of these in the morning before I go to work. Got a couple bananas. I needed some A1 sauce. And then also I got these. These were on cartwheel. And fun fact about me, I am like kind of obsessed with the Jack Lynx turkey jerky. It is one of my favorite things. And it's also one of my like edible guilty pleasures. So I got two of them. And um, okay, so over into the non-food situation, um, I got this table runner. It's a really pretty linen and it's, I think it's gonna look really nice on the table actually. Let's go look at it on the table. So I thought it was nice, it's like kind of blackish slate color. It's not like a deep black, which I kind of like. And then with this nice linen color and I just think that's gonna look really nice on there. Um, yeah, a nice little striped table runner for the fall, or actually for any time of the year, to be completely honest. So I'm gonna put that on a little bit later. I also got this brass Smith & Hawken. Oh, what the heck are these things called? Like to water plants and stuff? But it was on like major clearance, so I figured why not? And I needed something like this anyways, so that works. I got some ibuprofen. I'm gonna take this to work as I am running out of my little travel-sized ibuprofen. Um, and then I've actually looked at these bowls of, for a while at Target. They have like a ton of them, and these are like a set of bowls. You get two of them, but at my Target, they were pretty inexpensive. So they've obviously been marked down a couple of times and now it's 50% off. The last time I saw it, I think it was only like 20 or 30% off. So I'm glad I waited, but these will make great serving bowls. And I love like the little foot at the bottom, like this little thing. I think that's so nice. Um, if you guys remember, I did a Target haul a while back for a bunch of home stuff and um, got those white porcelain footed bowls, which I'm kind of obsessed with as well. So this will be a great addition to like the serving collection. Um, and then I feel like everyone always runs out of toilet paper and paper towels like at the same time, but these are my favorite ones and I'll kind of explain why. So this is the Cottonelle one. I actually got the 12 rolls, which is like the double rolls. I think the other ones that I currently have, I have a couple more rolls, but they're like the mega roll. They unfortunately don't fit on both of the toilet paper holders that are installed currently in my home. So I have to get the smaller ones. Um, so yeah, I think I have like two more rolls of that and then I'll be done with it because I literally can't put them on the toilet paper like ring on the wall um, until I've gone to the bathroom a few times. <laughs> so it's kind of irritating, but from now on, I'll just get these ones. And then these, the Viva Vantage with strong scrubs like cloth, the ones that are like 
textured like this. These are the best paper towels I have ever seen and they feel like they're like stretchy. I don't know how to explain it. I would just recommend going and getting a pack of these. This is a six, a six pack and I think it was $5.99 or $6.99 and then there was a dollar manufacturer coupon on Cartwheel for this and this and I'm not sure when they expire but um, but yeah, so anyway, those are the things I got. So I'm gonna now put all of the things away, but I'm gonna close out the vlog here because I'm not doing anything else. So let's go find Doyle quick. Hey Doyle, where are you? He was down here and then he moved. Hey, doodle dog, come here, buddy. Uh oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Hey, little guy, Doyle challenge accepted, yeah. Okay, well that's the Doyle challenge for the day because I need to get some of that frozen stuff in the freezer. So I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. If you are, make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can always subscribe as well. And the vlogs are just kind of going up when the vlogs go up. But anyways, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. Bye guys.